Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Simon Das and I'm part of the Solid Atlas technical team. In this video I'll be showing you some of the new enhancements in eDrawings 2019. eDrawings 2019 introduces great new functionality. Let's start with new file formats that can open. As you can see you can now open PowerSolid, Solid Edge, ASIS, JT and NX files. Let's open this Solid Edge assembly. As you can see, the assembly is brought in with all its parts. You can use a measure command on this model, just like on a native SOLIDWORKS model or eDrawings model. The units can be set to suit your requirements. With these new import options, you can now more easily collaborate with customers or partners who use different CAD systems. Ambient occlusion has been added as a new shading option. Ambient occlusion is a global lighting method that adds realism to models by controlling the attenuation of ambient light due to occluded areas. This option can improve clarity between components. Another great feature of eDrawings 2019 is the ability to view SOLIDWORKS configurations. This model has two configurations, the burner tray and the meat tray. If we open this model in eDrawings, you will see only one configuration listed at the bottom of the screen. I'll open the model in SOLIDWORKS and add the display data mark to the configurations to allow them to be viewable in eDrawings. As I switch between the different configurations, you'll see the geometry change on the model. To make these configurations viewable in eDrawings, right click on the configuration and click add display data mark. Once the file is reopened in eDrawings, you'll notice the configurations icon in the bottom right hand corner. And as I switch between the configurations, you'll see the geometry update in the graphics window. This new feature in both eDrawings and SOLIDWORKS greatly improves the communication of design data. Another great new feature of eDrawings 2019 is the ability to save as web HTML. This single HTML file contains all the 3D geometry, the eDrawings controls and the information about the assembly. I can look at the assembly structure, look at the configurations, and even perform exploded views. Like the eDrawings application, ambient occlusion can be enabled on the web HTML 3D model. Finally, all eDrawings professional features from eDrawings 2018 and older are now available in the free eDrawings viewer. This only applies to eDrawings for Windows and not the mobile version. For example, you can measure any file in the eDrawings viewer, whereas a measure tool used to be only available in the eDrawings professional version. All new functionality in eDrawings Professional 2019 and later will be available in eDrawings Professional only. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give the video a like and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on SOLIDWORKS 2019.